the guy in the side there. Learn is not the only town that's in for year one. There's several towns. And I imagine right across the Highland, councillors will be in meetings like this in their own small town and community, objecting about exactly the same thing. So although there's just four of us, across all these communities, there should be the willingness to get rid of this and kick it off the table. And as to the point you said about the four of us seeing it, two of us never seen it until last week. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way the council works. When you've got a ruling administration, they deal with it, and they should have, you know, done this sooner as well. Highlighted all those issues. Tom, the other the other point, and, and it's perfectly valid that not only did two out of the four who've seen it wish it was strangled at birth, uh, others in other areas have done the same. Despite that, this proposal has gone forward. It is a proposal, and it is to be voted on. And the uh, point uh, resistance has been very strong, but to what extent we can make that work, we will have to wait and see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. three points. So um, thanks very much, and thanks very much, Brian. I think um, I think it is good to, to, to have you know as an air confidence building myself that, that we're against <coughs> parking charges and that our councillors are against parking charges. And although Laurie can make it tonight, um, he's also stated to me that, that he's absolutely against. Um, the parking charges. So hopefully meetings um, like this are, are happening elsewhere and, and hopefully that democratic voice is being heard um, so that, that we can get them quashed. Michael. Yes, thank you Michael. Uh, Michael Green. Uh, I have a fair experience of this and I would point out that as my understanding and based on the experiences that I've had, this would have been on the table for several months. Service heads would have been asked several months ago to come up with savings. This would have been known by the administration members for months now. Uh, and let's face it, the budget is not an area for feasibility studies or consultation. It's written in stone and once it's passed, that's it. Mm -hmm. So this should have been refuted several months ago. As soon as this raised its head, you said, no, that's a red line. There are 40 councillors in the administration, there are 32 out with. There are six uh, councillors who are directly affected by this, two from there, two from Almes, and two uh, from Dingwall. You start to do the maths. If you had got together and efficiently marshalled your colleagues and said, this is a red line for us, that is six independent members, you should have gone to Margaret Davidson, Margaret would have listened and said, we are not going to support this. As a group, we're going to withdraw our support on the day. The budget would not pass. That gives you complete leverage because the maths would be 34 in the administration, 35. So A, I'd like to know, have you had conversations with your colleagues and have you got a plan to implement this on the day? Because this is the last chance because once it's passed, whether you say I don't support this, I don't do this, unless the votes stack it up, it's going to happen. And I've fought all my life for this and Sheena Baker and I got this knocked back a long time ago, and every time it's raised his head, we've been against it, against it. That, that part of the discussion is not really needed to be had. There's overwhelming support to have this stopped, and you have got the ability and the mechanism there to do it. And I'd like to get a commitment that that's what you're going to do. Um, it just seems to me that um, parking charges 
was all seemed to be incredibly selective. Um, it always seems to hit the um, areas of, of, of businesses, small businesses, you, the people who bring individuality to our small towns like here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it seems to me that you, you know, if you want to raise money, then why aren't you putting charge into the retail parts? Because that's where all the major parking in here. So uh, why is it always the small businesses that mm -hmm. are hit? And why, why do the retail parts always get away with no charges at all? I think the retail parts are trying to deal, and the only way to do that would be to do something with their feet. Oh, yeah, you can Well, I was just saying that the retail parts are privately owned, so the only retail generating income from them is perhaps to do their rates, and it's something that our group has considered, to be honest, but it's not being progressed yet. I think really, really good comments. So somebody put it to me the other day, um, gave me a very similar example of uh, you know, why aren't we charging public? I think Liz's point is, is valid, um, but you wouldn't go um, off the roundabout going into the retail part. You wouldn't put a barrier there, and you wouldn't ask people to pay a pound to go into the retail part, which is probably acceptable because it's council owned or publicly owned land prior to going in. Um, and essentially, you know, in my view, for business within there, and that's essentially what we're doing. Essentially, just putting that barrier and asking people to consider whether they want to pay that power before they go in. So, thanks. Yeah, Tony the Smith. Um, so we've got a black hole in our budget. Surely it's a black hole for everybody that lives in the Highlands and not just car owners. Why don't we just stick the money on council tax instead of punishing drivers again, pushing people out of small towns like them? Why not just stick a council tax up for everyone? And exactly how much money do you think you're actually going to raise um, by car parking charges and balance that against the loss of businesses and therefore income you can make from businesses? Clear on and I, I think what, what's not been clear and what, what is said is um, that there, there's um, some public consultation to be done after the event. Um, and I think you know, that, that facial expression is probably what I'm thinking. It's similar to what Michael was, was sort of getting at um, early on that you know that the horse will be bolted by, by that point once it's in the budget. I think. The other thing, which I didn't say at the start, I think it's important to recognise is that there is a budget deficit. And I think it's important to recognise that there is challenging times. Um, you know, you, you um, being a, a politician of any description, nationally or locally, probably isn't, isn't the easiest job at the moment. Um, so that'll be some of the decisions have to be made, and there will be something. Um, but when you're, when you're adding parking charges in, um, have we actually considered the amount of businesses that wouldn't be here because of the parking charge and the income that that doesn't generate? And that would be interesting um, at some point in the future um, for somebody to actually from Highland Council to actually be articulate on and let us know what has been done. No, speak to the mic. I'll hold it. My accent. Um, I own the Nairmore shop, where I know it is. Um, I know a lot of places, but my argument is that it's a struggle enough getting a living out of a, a small shop. It really is, you have to work hard, I work 17 hours a week, you can tell. Um, you know, we've, we've been hit by the road streetscaping and the road works and all the, and that stops people from coming to town. With car parking, I get told every day by my customers that come from Paris, that come from Albion, they come here, they live there, because they can park free. And they can have a wander around, they can have an ice cream or a coffee, they can have a walk down the beach, and it doesn't cost them anything to do it. Mm -hmm. And I think I am really going to struggle if people stop coming in their cars because it's going to. I don't go to here because I don't pay car parking. 
consideration of this, we will find out there are a number of meetings tomorrow. All the groups will be having meetings tomorrow about this. So hopefully there will be some kind of agreement on that. The other aspect, thinking about, uh, and, and what Lorraine has said, uh, is something that, that has been brought to the attention of people as well. But again and again and again, we go back to where folks are using and sometimes you can use it as an excuse rather than a reason. The black hole is the a reason. And sometimes I think that's being pushed in the wrong way. The other thing that as councillors we are agreed on as well, and it's an issue that kind of uh, is there and directly affects, I think, tourism in the town, mm -hmm. is the whole issue of, of the toilets and whether you, and again, there's a whole debate about that throughout the Highlands because there is a great effect of tourists coming here in substantial numbers, and that was recognised last year. So we, uh, together as a group, are going to try and see if we can get something done about that. 
where maybe there has to be some form of charging for toilets to keep them open, but they are certainly, if you have a young family who are touring around and they come to a town and they can't find a toilet for young people to actually just simply go and do their business, shall we say, uh, they ain't going to come back. So that, there's that aspect as well. So there are a number of aspects, but on the, the one of parking, and I don't know, I don't want to put Laurie on the spot per se, but I think you have something that you might want to say about that. Yeah, well, you're, you're oh. yeah. <coughs> I, did, I did speak with uh, Margaret Davis, our uh, leader this evening, and uh, they are willing to consider a compromise. And I put the view, I told her basically, she, they, the council, they could try and put parking charges on three of the car parks, but three of the car parks belong to the Common Good Fund. Uh, you mentioned that already. We talked about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, it's basically, officials in Inverness have messed this whole thing up. That's basically what it comes down to. They haven't consulted with us, they haven't considered anything. One of the reasons they have not uh, been brought, this has not come in earlier, was it because the financial 